Hello, welcome to Informatica Support. This is Ebenezer Chinchu from Informatica ILM Support. Uh, today we are going to spend a couple of minutes discussing about how to do the performance tuning in Informatica Archive. We are only going to look at a couple of uh, possible things. Uh, all the performance tuning is a wide subject and there are many different variables that play a role uh, in the performance tuning of the various operations done by ILM Data Archive. We will just uh, focus on one or two things that we, we can do to improve the performance. The first thing that we're going to look at uh, today is uh, using the parallel hints and then later on we'll take a look at the cardinal hints. So the parallel hints uh, are useful uh, in increasing the performance of the sequels, the select statements that are executed by Oracle. So in ILM, there are many SQL statements that are executed, uh, not only during archive, but also during seamless access. Uh, we fetch the data from the ERP, we insert the data into staging. Again, we fetch the data from the staging, we insert it into the history database, and we go back and delete the data from the ERP database. So there are many SQL operations that uh, go on in this database and SQL intensive operations uh, for the ILM data archive. So there are, depending on the uh, processes available, depending on the uh, cores that are available, depending on the data of the ERP, the data that needs to be inserted, the data that needs to be deleted, the performance will vary from one, one environment to the other. So uh, there are certain areas which we can customize. There are certain areas which we may not be able to customize as a user. A uh, couple of areas where we can customize is in EDM, uh, where we can always uh, make a copy of the entity and customize the the select statements and the insert statements and the delete statements which will be used for that particular entity. Uh, in the seamless access also you can go to the underlying views and the dependent views uh, and the uh, join views and the union sorry the union views and we can modify the select statements uh, which the views are getting from and then there also we can add our hints. So the hint that we're looking at is the parallel hint. Uh, so uh, the parallel hints uh, when we apply to these sequels Oracle will uh, parallelize some of the operations that, that are uh, happening on the table that is implied. Uh, the degree of parallelism which is the number of processes and threads uh, which are thrown uh, at the process at the say SQL statement for the SQL statement uh, are decided by Oracle uh, and will vary with the time as the load on the system varies. Uh, so, uh, even though there are many variations of the parallel uh, hint, we will just look at the basic one which you can see in the screen, uh, select uh, and the parallel hint and then star from AP invoices all. In most cases, uh, because we are asking Oracle to take a look at the available resources and uh, provide more threads and uh, more processes to the SQL, uh, that in self would, should be able to take care of it. So this is the basic version of the parallel uh, which you can use and for any advanced use of parallel hints on the SQLs inside ILM, you can contact us at support at informatica.com and then we will be able to help you in uh, working with the performance hints. The other one which we take a look at is the cardinal hints. Cardinal means number. Uh, so obviously the hint has something to do with the numbers. Uh, uh, to begin with these hints are used in cases where Oracle is unable to estimate the result of a join condition or a nested query. Uh, basically when there is a join condition between two tables or a nested query, uh, one table using the outputs of uh, uh, joined with the outputs of a nested uh, query, uh, the number of or the or the number of rows that result from the join uh, is what uh, is uh, uh, used in this uh, cardinality hint. So when you provide a cardinality hint, you are telling Oracle that what is the uh, you are hinting Oracle rather what is the resultant or the number of rows of a given join or for a nested query. So uh, usually in complex joins or complex nested queries, Oracle is sometimes unable to estimate upfront what is the result or how many rows are going to be seen, how many rows are resultant of a join query and hence is sometimes unable to form an optimal plan of execution. Uh, so when we do know, uh, cardinal hints are always uh, used when you know how many rows are expected from the joins. Uh, an example of a parallel uh, uh, and cardinality is given here uh, in the example which you can see in the screen where in the, uh, the, the first uh, SQL which you see there 
uh, has no cardinality hint but it has a parallel hint uh, but then in order to increase the performance a little bit more uh, in the second section we introduce a cardinality hint on table aliased with x comma 1 so the x refers to the table xc 1141 underscore ont1 in this example uh, the table aliased by x and comma 1 we are using comma 1 there because the header ID of the OE price adjustments table is mapped to the header ID in the XC ONT1 uh, table and the output of that join uh, and a possible flag X equals Y is going to be one header ID. So basically uh, this SQL is depending on a single header ID which is going to come out of the join condition. In that case, since we know that there is always going to be only one header ID coming out and not more than one, we simply put a cardinality hint x comma one. We are telling Oracle that hey, we do know that there is only one header ID coming out, so you can prepare the optimal plan of execution accordingly. Uh, if you if you were expecting say ten rows in the join, we would have used parallel x comma ten. Uh, uh, we can also say parallel x comma hash. Uh, sorry cardinality x comma hash or parallel x comma hash where hash is the like a placeholder where we do not know uh, what is the number that needs to be used there oracle during runtime if it is able to calculate or if it is able to put a number there it will replace it if not uh, it just carries on with the plain hint or sometimes the hint is not uh, uh, taken into consideration so uh, we have seen two examples one is how to use the parallel in the basic version and also the cardinality hint which we always remember is that you use when you know how many rows are expected from the joins and also when there is a complex join condition and Oracle may not be able to find out how many rows will result from that join condition or the nested query. Performance tuning obviously differs from one environment to another, from one customer to another, one implementation on one database and one database version to another. So obviously uh, you can try a couple of these things uh, mentioned in this video, but uh, if you definitely need more support, we are always available at support at informatica.com. Uh, you can reach out at, uh, at ILM support and we will uh, help you in tuning the SQL specific to your ILM environment setup. We would love to hear any feedback from you, so uh, you can always uh, reach out uh, reach out to us on Twitter or uh, you can send email to support videos at informatica.com and we'll be glad to uh, take your feedback and improve the quality of material or the, sub or the support that we provide to you. Uh, if there is anything missing in this video or if there is anything that you'd like to uh, correct or give a feedback on, definitely reach out to us at this uh, email ID or on Twitter and we'll be glad to uh, respond back to you as soon as we can. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.